hi my name is dr sap and today i will discuss on uh, the books to read for md or dnb in anesthesiology when i was post graduate student way back in 2009 to 2012 what was my plan of reading i will discuss all of that today so let's go congratulations if you have taken anesthesia as your post graduate subject now you have three full years ahead to read to absorb assimilate and live in anesthesiology so that's what you are going to do it's not a bad branch at all it's a good option reading anesthesia gives you control over understanding of physiology and pharmacology and physics in depth whatever you plan whatever you do during anesthesia of a patient you will see the effect right there on the screen of the monitor so that's what the beauty of anesthesiology and also whatever you read whatever protocol you want to follow in anesthesiology you can follow during your patient case management you can apply all that concept of what you have read while managing the case so that's awesome about anesthesiology it becomes more interesting when you discuss the cases importantly the difficult cases something interesting about the cases you manage during anesthesia that discussion is going to be remembered by you for the rest of your life so discuss with your fellow resident srs or jrs about the case management on daily basis and in that way you will learn a lot know your syllabus well before you start whatever college you are in whatever university you are in whatever hospital you are working during your dnb anesthesiology first and foremost thing that you should know the syllabus and that is available on the websites of your university you can go there and download that thing what the examination authorities expect from you as a resident in anesthesiology is already formulated in that syllabus so you must go through that syllabus whether it be a md syllabus or dnb syllabus whatever syllabus you should just go download it keep in your pen drive and read again and again even you should go and print it and keep in your bookshelf what i have understood and what i have planned when i was a resident there were five components of the syllabus basic major components of the syllabus so first and foremost is the basic science so you have to read anatomy physiology biochemistry and pharmacology of anesthesia that's very very important then you have to identify the instruments and also understand the concepts the physical concepts behind each and every technology whatever is there in operation theater or in icu then for better understanding of clinical anesthesiology and cases you have to go in depth to read the basic books of anesthesia and also the reference book of anesthesiology whenever the difficulty arise then fourth thing is the super specialty anesthesia see the super specialty anesthesia and clinical anesthesia reading should be started in the first half of the second year itself and you should be able to complete both clinical and super specialty anesthesia one reading at least till your second year is over then you can be confident enough to apply all those concepts and you know baseline knowledge in your third year division okay now regarding the super specialty anesthesia because you go to various operation theaters of those super specialty like pediatric obstetrics critical care cardiac neuro and transplant anesthesia onco anesthesia you go to lot of places okay during your post graduation and that is what you are going to read each and every super specialty from particular book then lastly in your third year when you are just 3 uh, months away 
of your exam when you are exam going you have to read the recent advances also whatever has happened in last 5 to 10 years in anesthesiology may be asked in exam in one of the papers of anesthesiology so now understand the point that you have to learn from multiple resources when you are doing your post graduation you have to have the reference books you have to have the ebook as a soft copy in your pen drive or your desktop you have to have some small hand handy books or you know concise synoptic books so that you can uh, have a ready reference then there are some web resources available like uh, virtualanesthesiatextbook.com then whenever you are reading something in depth you have to refer to review articles published in last three to four years and when you are so bored and you don't want to read at least you can listen and you can watch some youtube videos on a particular topic for the basic sciences what i have read was the stoltings pharmacology and physiology and published and last edition came in 2015 so it's quite a interesting book small book you can read you can make notes from Stoltings Anesthesia and Coexisting Disease Standard Book of Anesthesia read by all of the anesthesia resident, residents and you should also keep one copy with you, a hard copy. And uh, she is the professor uh, of anesthesiology at Yale School of Medicine who wrote uh, this book. Robert I. Hines is the professor of anesthesiology at Yale School of Medicine. Now, Miller's Anesthesia is a standard reference book written by uh, Ronald D. Miller. Ronald D. Miller is a professor emeritus at University of California, San Francisco, a Department of Anesthesia and Perioperative Care. He wrote this book some 40 to 50 years back, the first edition, and now we have international edition available, the ninth one. Uh, released very recently some time back so you should be having these two volumes of Miller's Anesthesia this is the Bible uh, of Anesthesia you, one should have in one's uh, bookshelf and definitely you should be reading every day some or other topic from the Miller's Anesthesia however many people find it difficult to memorize the content of Miller's Anesthesia so for them I can advise to make notes for Miller's Anesthesia but definitely this is the book you will get each and every topic related to Anesthesia in these two volumes of book. Clinical Anesthesia by Paul G. Barash and was the professor of anesthesiology at Yale University School of Medicine and this is the reference book very beautiful book and a very reliable source of information in clinical anesthesia and uh, there is one more version is available for the exam goers the baby uh, barash they, they saw they say baby barash or handbook of barash clinical anesthesia so you can buy this book and read from and that's also very very wonderful uh, book to read then morgan's everybody knows morgan because this is a very small one volume book uh, written by these are the professors from the usa who wrote this who compiled the book and this is also a very good book everything is so short and concise that you have to remember each and every word of this book to answer an exam so i will not uh, advise you to read uh, morgan solely for understanding in clinical anesthesiology you should be reading miller and barash as well but morgan is good for revising the stuff if you are interested in clinical uh, case presentations so you should be having this book Yao and Atrizio's Anesthesiology Paperback edition is available after 2016 edition uh, and uh, uh, Yao is a professor uh, chairman at the Department of Anesthesiology Will Cornell Medicine in New York uh, currently he is heading to, uh, the department and this book is about the clinical case presentations and now we will uh, talk about some specialty, super specialty books like Smith Anesthesia for Infants and Children, 
it's also a good reference book uh, i won't advise you to buy this book you can have a pdf of this book is stored in your uh, desktop or a pen drive and you can read uh, you can refer any topic uh, which you want you find difficult to understand similarly you should have kaplan's cardiac anesthesia is a small concise short book seventh edition is available written by professor of cardiac anesthesiology at uh, university of california san diego whatever you say in cardiac anesthesia should be uh, referred uh, from this book only otherwise you won't be getting marks then chestnuts obstetric anesthesia is the book for studying obstetric anesthesia it gives you from a to z all the knowledge about the obstetric anesthesia uh, if you are interested so much in doing fellowship later in obstetric anesthesia definitely you should go for this book in your post graduation itself then airway management uh, uh, is a nightmare of an anesthetist uh, definitely you should have a book uh, to systematically uh, you know understand the concepts in airway management and also difficult airway management and rashid khan's book uh, of airway management gives you what you need okay uh, the concise very concise interestingly written book uh, and uh, the concept can be grasped uh, while you read it uh, in the first reading itself so i will definitely advise you to read this book however uh, the bible of airway management is benumoff so benumoff if you if you have uh, uh, as, a, as a soft copy i will advise you to have a soft copy of benumoff then if you are interested in the regional anesthesia pain management uh, nerve blocks uh, then you should have these three books in your uh, library and also in your pen drive as a soft copy if you can manage to buy the soft copy okay so this is the hasdix textbook of regional anesthesia which is very famous uh, from uh, new york society of regional anesthesia and uh, uh, this is uh, the the author is well versed with all kinds of concepts and techniques in regional anesthesia then there is another book uh, uh published by springer essentials of regional cci is a small book you can read and you can enjoy reading you can uh, really understand the concept of regional cci in this book another book is the uh, for the peripheral nerve block by the same author admir hasdik and uh, now i will advise few things about the exam goers uh, there are very few book available uh, for uh, preparation of uh, md or dmb anesthesiology like this uh, written by atul Par prabhakar gulkarni sir from tata memorial hospital mumbai objective anesthesia review a comprehensive textbook for the examinee so this book is written for the student who is about to go to you know sit in exam and also the idea is to make you a safe anesthetist so this book you should definitely have and uh, read uh, at least three to four times before you go for exam another book is uh, long and short cases in anesthesiology which, anesthesiology, which uh, gives you a lot of concepts uh, um, it is uh, this this book is written by indian authors so you can rely on uh, the real time examples and cases in this book then another book is anesthesia review for the dnb student uh, by kaushik jobinath i am, i have not read this book so i cannot comment so much but i found this book uh, worth mentioning in the list uh, of books to read the neat super specialty anesthesia critical care question bank is also available on uh, on amazon.com you can buy if you want to prepare for uh, neat super specialty exams so that's all i think uh, uh, i should also cover whether to read from pdf or from the physical book what you should have you should have a physical book or a pdf is enough so our tendency is when we ever whenever we download the pdfs of uh, books uh, we become so excited and we uh, are inflated that we have uh, a, a resource that we can read anytime now we have this book but in reality we don't uh, go to read it, this book we don't read that book whichever we have downloaded so uh, so pdf does not give you that much of motivation to read you know and physical book gives you that motivation because you spend money and you buy the book 
okay so that is why i prefer to keep a physical book with me and also a soft copy uh, whenever i am making a presentation i will refer to a soft copy when i am reading for my pleasure i will go for physical book so that's what i feel uh, this is my own opinion now treat your book as a teacher respect the work done by authors to compile a book for you after processing tons of pages of various articles so respect that because the book uh, writing is a very very difficult a tedious job so whatever you are getting at the end and paying for is nothing uh, in front of the uh, efforts done by uh, authors and contributors so respect that keep in mind that this this work is very very difficult and then 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 only you can grasp the knowledge then you can understand the worth of uh, each and every word in that book so thank you so much i think i have made a point to uh, make you understand uh, the uh, various books available in the market and how you choose from i think that depends on your own flavor whatever your book you want but i have given you a list which i have always relied most uh, and i wanted in my library thank you so much